cycling in traffic you might always heard people say it's wow so dangerous ah there's a lot of car i'm scared malaysia driver so crazy can me i've been cycling in the traffic for the past four years and i'm fine so far in fact i think malaysia driver is very kind compared to the other country today we're gonna talk about five tips that you need to know when you're cycling together with traffic Hello guys, welcome to today's video. So again, my name is Chu Chen and I make cycling content. If you are new in this channel, do subscribe to my channel for more cycling content. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much. There will be more cycling content that coming up. So today, I gotta talk about five tips when you're cycling in the traffic. The moment when you decide to cycling in the traffic, you have to understand that you are one of the vehicles you are part of the road user you're sharing the road with the others and you are a vehicle on the road by that means same with any other vehicles a car on the road they need to be have a front light rear brake light same to a bicycle you will need a front light and you will need a rear blinker so the other road user realize about your existence the rules of thumbs is make yourself visible because a bicycle is rather smaller in terms of ratio on the road so other than the front light and also rear blinker it is advisable that you wear something bright some of my friends actually wear reflective stripes when i cycle at road especially at night the second point will be always pay attention to the surrounding as a user on the road you must always realize when other road user giving you other signals that's include in sound form or visual form for example a car when they want to turn left they will give left signal when they slow down they will have brake light there's another things that is very important when it is in audio form um, people might shout at you or people might honk you so don't wear your earphone when you're cycling in traffic so of course as a cyclist listening to music when cycling is an uh, enjoyment and i'm the same as you guys solution like Trax titanium is actually a bone conduction earphone where allow you to listen to the surrounding and at the same time listen to the music you will transfer the audio through your cheekbone the audio quality is not perfect but better than nothing the point will be always let other road user know your intention give your hand signals for example if you want to turn left you should give a left signal if you want to turn right you should always give a right signal if you're leading in a group and you're slowing down remember to give a signal to the others i think most of us when driving on the road will be pissed off when people turn without giving signal that's exactly the same situation let the other road user know where you are going or what you're gonna do next that will prevent most of the accident Point number four will be always obey the traffic rules. As point number one says, when you are cycling on the road, you are part of the road user. And although we are very agile, we are very fragile as well. When it's red, stop. When it's green, go. When it's yellow, slow down. Just as simple as how you were usually driving. By obeying the rules, other road user will be expecting a same set of action as the others. Imagine you are at the junction, it's red, and you go through. The user from the other direction might don't expect that. Think about that. Most of the accident happen because you don't expect something come into your way that's how accident happen it's hot under the sun it's hot when you are not moving but when it's red remember to stop when it's one way don't go in the last tips is when you are very familiar with all this traffic and when you're brave enough go into the traffic flow especially in rather wide road for example the jalan baksa which come with four lane you will need to ride like a cup chai as my opening says actually malaysian driver kind of friendly to cyclists because they are very used to cup chai on the road we are almost similar like a motorbike there's certain point where you need to really push yourself so that you reach certain speed and you reduce the speed difference with the other road user and that will put you in the safe zone in case that you don't have the fitness there's a lot of ways you want to go through a high traffic road there is always pedestrian way just stop and turn yourself like a pedestrian use the traffic light to cross the road so i think that's all for this video i hope you learned something from my content if you like content like this do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, click on the little bell icon so that you get every notification when i upload a new video that's all for today i'll see you on the next one bye bye